Hey everyone, this is Nadia from the Cognito Forms team. In this series, I'm going to walk you through the process of creating payment forms. We're going to start from the basics and then work our way up to more complex payment scenarios. To begin, let's learn how to collect variable amounts determined by the person filling out our form, such as tips or donations. I've already added a couple fields to my form in order to collect information like name, phone number, and email address, and now I need to add a field in order to collect the donations themselves. To do this, I'm going to find an empty spot on my form and pull up the Add Field menu on the left. You'll notice that some fields, including the Choice, Lookup, Yes, No, Currency, and Price fields in the Add Field menu have a credit card icon next to them. You can use any of these fields to collect payment on your form. In this case, I'm going to use the Currency field because it allows me to collect variable responses in a monetary format. By default, my currency is set to the US dollar based on my organization's location settings, but I can also change the currency on this particular form from the form settings. Either way, keep in mind that these settings will be locked once your form has any entries. Going back to our donation field, we currently have the ability to collect a monetary figure, but we can't yet process and collect the actual payment. First, I'm going to make sure that my payment account is connected to my form. Then, in the Donation Field settings, I'm going to select the option that says Collect Payment for this field. With this option enabled, the payment block will appear at the bottom of the form once we enter an amount into the Donation Field. The amount will appear as a line item along with the subtotal and processing fees. From the Payment Settings menu, you can adjust these settings to your liking and add or exclude certain fees as needed. Once you start receiving donations, you can open up your form's entries page to view all of the transaction details or refund payments in the payment summary. Finally, don't forget to enable email confirmations in your submission settings to send users a receipt of their donation after submission. And now our donation form is all ready to go.